Hello, everyone. Welcome back Top 5 Choices channel. Today, we have something truly exciting lined up for you as we explore the world of military engineering vehicles. From advanced armored versatile mine clearing giants, these machines play a crucial role in supporting military operations. Here are the top 10 most amazing military engineering vehicles in the world. Number 10. M9 ACE. The M9 Armored Combat Earthmover, a formidable engineering vehicle in service with the U.S. Army since its operational debut in 1986. Boasting a total acquisition of 448 units by the U.S. Army and also utilized by the U.S. Marine Corps, the M9 ACE showcased exceptional performance during Operation Desert Storm. Designed for battlefield preparation, the M9 ACE undertakes a myriad of crucial tasks. From digging positions for armored vehicles and field artillery to breaching berms, preparing anti-tank trenches, and repairing roads, this combat engineering vehicle is a versatile force on the front lines. Additionally, it plays a pivotal role in clearing obstacles and readying riverbanks for vehicle crossings. At the front, the M9 ACE features a 6.7M capacity bowl, apron, and dozer blade. What sets this engineering vehicle apart is its unique hydropneumatic suspension, allowing for the manipulation of the vehicle's front by lowering, raising, or tilting. As a stalwart on the battlefield, the M9 ACE remains a critical asset in enhancing the effectiveness and survivability of armored vehicles and artillery systems. Number 9. Boxer Arm the recovery module seamlessly integrates modular recovery capabilities into the GTK Boxer family of vehicles, eliminating the need for additional recovery systems for the existing Boxer fleet. This strategic design ensures efficient and resource-saving deployment with high logistical similarities. Equipped with a robust 20-ton crane arm, the arm facilitates various tasks, including module changes and engine replacements for the Boxer. The 200 knots winch, featuring a 60M long Kevlar rope, ensures easy handling and provides the necessary elements for swift recovery and self-recovery operations. The rear support shield enhances stability on diverse surfaces. For ballistic protection conforming to NATO Stanag 4569, Level 5, the arm incorporates expandable protection systems adaptable to specific requirements and vehicle configurations. Integrated into the GTK Boxer system, the arm leverages the vehicle's CBRN filter system. The vehicle boasts an integrated fire extinguishing system to safeguard the crew in the field. The separation of operating and operator rooms contributes to crew protection against thermal influences, ensuring endurance and clear-headed decision-making. Additional features, such as a 360-degree camera system and the option to integrate a remote weapon station, enhance operational readiness. Number 8. BMR-3M. The vehicle is engineered to deliver crucial support to combat troops amid enemy fire and the potential deployment of weapons of mass destruction. UVZ highlights the heightened tactical flexibility of the new engineering vehicle, combining the functionalities of three distinct engineering vehicles, an armored repair and evacuation vehicle, an engineering barrier vehicle, and an armored mine clearance vehicle that constructed with components and assemblies derived from T-90M tanks, the new machine features traction and auxiliary winches, as well as a hydraulic hammer that can be interchanged with an excavator bucket. The UBIM crew, comprising a commander and a driver, operates within a protected compartment that can accommodate up to three sappers. For self-defense capabilities, the vehicle is equipped with a combat module featuring a 12.7mm machine gun, accompanied by a thermal imager and a laser rangefinder for enhanced targeting. Integrated communication means contributing to a unified tactical link management system. Number 7. M1150ABV The M1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle, also known as the Breacher or Shredder, was developed to meet the operational needs of the U.S. Marine Corps. This combat engineering vehicle is specially designed to clear pathways through minefields, creating safe lanes for other vehicles, allowing assault units to swiftly navigate obstacles before enemy forces establish defenses. Initial prototypes were completed in 2002, and the breacher became operational in 2008, 
seeing combat in Afghanistan in 2009. Based on a modified M1A1 Abrams main battle tank chassis, the ABV utilizes refurbished Abrams MBT chassis from surplus army stocks. The M1A1 turret has been replaced by a new superstructure, incorporating proven subsystems to reduce development time and cost. Pearson Engineering of the United Kingdom supplied specially designed engineering accessories, including full width and surface mine plows, combat dozer blades, rapid ordnance removal systems, and lane marking systems, which can be rapidly fitted or removed based on mission requirements. Number 6. K-600. The K-600, a South Korean minefield breaching vehicle initially known as XK-600 during the prototype stage, was developed by Hyundai Rotom. The vehicle, also referred to as the Korean Combat Engineer Vehicle, saw its first public reveal in 2018 and underwent a designation change to K-600 after adoption by the South Korean military. The production contract was awarded in 2019, with deliveries to the South Korean Army scheduled to commence in 2020, while the XK-600 prototype was based on the refurbished and upgraded chassis of the K-1 main battle tank. The production vehicles appear to be newly built and utilized the chassis of the K-2 main battle tank, weighing an impressive 62 tons. The primary roles of the K-600 include clearing pathways through minefields and breaching enemy obstacles. Conceptually similar to the U.S. Grizzly Breacher vehicle developed in the 1990s, the K-600 is equipped with a wide mine plow from Pearson Engineering in the United Kingdom. Additionally, the K-600 features a safe path marking system that dispenses rods as the vehicle progresses, clearly indicating a safe route through the minefield for following troops and vehicles. Number 5. IMR-2 The IMR-2 Combat Engineering Vehicle, introduced in 1980 as a successor to the original IMR, became operational with full-rate production commencing in 1982. The initial production model was the IMR-2M, and by 1990, a total of 659 IMR-2 vehicles and improved variants had been manufactured. In active service with the Russian army and other nations, the IMR-2 played roles in conflicts such as the Soviet War in Afghanistan, the Chechen Wars, and contributed to relief operations during the Chernobyl NPP accident. Based on the chassis of the T-72 main battle tank, replacing the T-54's T-55-based original IMR, the IMR-2 features a rotating superstructure with a versatile telescopic arm capable of various attachments, including a manipulator and a bucket. The telescopic arm, with a reach exceeding 8 meters and a payload capacity of 2 tons, is traversed to the rear in traveling order. For self-defense, the combat engineering vehicle is armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. Powered by AV84-1 turbocharged diesel engine generating 840 horsepower, the original IMR-2M shares its engine with later production models of the T-72 main battle tank. This combat engineering vehicle can ford water obstacles up to 5 meters deep with proper preparation. Number 4. Kodiak Rainmetal Defense Developed from 2002 through a collaboration between Rainmetal of Germany and RUAG of Switzerland, the Pioneer Panzer III Kodiak Armored Engineer Vehicle emerged as a private venture to meet the Swiss Army's operational needs. Unveiled in 2003, the Swiss Army subsequently awarded a contract for 12 Kodiaks in 2007, with deliveries commencing in 2009. Other users include the Netherlands and Sweden, with deliveries expected until 2012. In 2021, the German Army ordered 44 Kodiak engineer vehicles based on the Leopard 2A7V tank chassis, set to replace the current Pioneer Panzer II docks armored engineer vehicles on Leopard 1 chassis. Deliveries are scheduled from 2023 to 2029. Primarily tasked with constructing and removing obstacles on the battlefield, as well as clearing pathways through minefields, the Kodiak facilitates the swift movement of assault units through obstacles before enemy defenses can be established. Built on modified Leopard 2 MBT chassis using refurbished Leopard 2 holes from surplus army stocks, the Kodiak features a hinged excavator arm, two capstan winches, and a full-length dozer blade or mine plow at the front. Number 3. 
UBIM, the UBIM, or Multipurpose Armored Engineer Vehicle, represents a new addition to the Russian Army's arsenal, designed to replace various older engineer vehicles such as IMR-2, IMR-2M, IMR-3. IMR-3M Armored Engineer Vehicles, BAT-1, BAT-1M, BAT-2 track layers, and in some cases, armored recovery and mine clearing vehicles. First unveiled in 2018, the UBIM bears a resemblance to contemporary Western armored engineer vehicles like Kodiak, Wissant II, or Ingenico Pansarvan, built upon the chassis of AT-90 a main battle tank. The UBIM features an armored superstructure in lieu of a turret, with its primary role being diverse route opening and clearing operations. Capable of digging, filling ditches, removing obstacles, and creating safe passages through minefields, the UBIM, although versatile, may not match the specialized efficiency of dedicated machines. Equipped with a multi-purpose arm for digging and obstacle removal operations, the arm is traversed to the rear in traveling order. A substantial front-mounted dozer blade, configurable in V-shaped or straight mode, spans 4.5 meters in bulldozer mode. It excels in earth-moving tasks, grading, road clearing, and obstacle removal, boasting a capacity of around 200 to 250 during earth working operations, and folds upwards when not in use. Number 2. Terrier. Developed by BAE Systems to fulfill a UK Ministry of Defense requirement, the Terrier Combat Engineer vehicle emerged in response to the need for a successor to the FV-180 Combat Engineer tractor which entered service with the British Army in 1976. Securing the development contract in 2002, BAE Systems unveiled the Terrier prototype in 2005, with deliveries to the Royal Engineers commencing in 2013, meeting the British Army's request for 60 of these versatile engineer vehicles. Designed as a general support engineer vehicle for battlefield preparation in the indirect fire zone, the Terrier excels in tasks such as route clearance, digging anti-tank ditches, creating defensive positions for troops or armored vehicles, and mine clearing. Equipped with a front-mounted high-capacity bucket, the Terrier efficiently clears obstacles, digs pits, and grips large items. Complementing this, a side-mounted excavator arm, capable of lifting up to three tons at maximum reach, enhances the vehicle's versatility. Manning the Terrier are two crew members, including a commander and a driver. In hazardous environments, the engineer vehicle can be operated remotely from up to one kilometer away, enhancing safety and flexibility in the field. Number 1. Wincent 2. The Wissent 2, an armored engineer vehicle developed by FFG in Germany, was tailored to meet the demands of contemporary operations in high-intensity areas like Afghanistan and Iraq. Leveraging FFG's expertise in upgrading various armored vehicles, the Wissent 2 is based on the Leopard 2 main battle tank, and its development concluded around 2009. In 2012, the Canadian Armed Forces ordered 12 Wissent 2 combat vehicles, with an option for five more, and it has found service with other nations, including Qatar, Norway, the United Arab Emirates, and potentially Saudi Arabia. It's worth noting that there is also a Wissent 1, based on the Leopard 1 main battle tank. The Wissent 2 stands out as a versatile, multi-purpose vehicle with the ability to transform from an armored engineer vehicle to an armored recovery vehicle in under 5 hours. The vehicle's modular platform allows for the fitting of various add-ons and interchangeable equipment to adapt to diverse mission requirements. In its ARV role, the Wissent 2 proves invaluable for recovering damaged, stuck, swamped, or overturned combat vehicles on the battlefield. It can tow these vehicles to the nearest shelter or maintenance unit and provide on-the-spot maintenance services, all while ensuring the crew operates from under armor protection. Which one impressed you the most? Let us know in the comments below, and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the Top 5 Choicest YouTube channel. Have a nice day and see you again. Goodbye.